Students, hey, how's it going? I'm gonna use this video to talk to you about making a windmill. You have just finished all your mechanisms, so everything from, you know, simple gear train to a cam and follower, crank and slider, chain drive, uh, gear train with idler, etc., etc. Now, you want to take that mechanism knowledge that you just gained from doing all nine of those mechanisms, how they work, what's the input, what type of movement are they creating, what's happening to speed and power. You wanna take all that knowledge and turn it into something a little more interesting. So in this case, a windmill. You're not gonna have a crank as your input. The input will be the blades on the windmill. So as the blades turn, mechanisms will be operating. So that's the assignment. You will make blades operate, I would say at least two mechanisms. One's good, definitely step it up a little bit and make two uh, if you can get three or four mechanisms on there, great. So one input, the spinning of the blades will operate two or more mechanisms, okay? So let me turn this around so you can see what I got going on. My blades are over here. When I turn them, I'm getting two different outputs. We'll actually count the mechanisms here in a second, but this rotary input, the blade's spinning in a circle, so rotary input is creating a reciprocating output as well as a rotary output. So that's my windmill. You can try to copy this design. It's kind of complicated, but it's nothing that you wouldn't be able to figure out it took me, I'd say, roughly two class periods to build it. Um, it's got lots of bearing flats on there. I'm using lots of spacers, lots of shaft collars. Right here at the windmill part, I've got a gear train with idler. So it goes from a small gear to a big gear to a big gear. So the power is increasing and the speed is decreasing. So you can see this one down here is spinning much slower than I'm spinning the blade. I then took a chain drive and attached it to that axle at the bottom. So it goes from a little gear to a big gear. So once again, my speed is decreasing. That's why you see this wheel turning incredibly slow. And then on the back side of that axle, it's a long axle, goes all the way from the front to the back. On the back side of that axle is the cam and follower. So I've got gear train with idler, chain drive mechanism, and cam and follower mechanism, all on my windmill. Um, I'll let you have a good look at it so you can see it. If you want to mimic this one, copy this one, repeat this one, that's fine. If you want to come up with your own design that uses a bevel gear, um, that uses a crank and slider, that uses a worm and wheel, a uh, lead screw, whatever it is that you want your windmill to power, please do so. Um, yeah, that's, that's going to be your windmill assignment. The spinning blades make two or more mechanisms operate. Does that sound good?